I am the salvation of the people, says the Lord. Should they cry to me in any distress, I will hear them, and I will be their Lord forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Isaiah advises us to seek the Lord, an, ac an activity we might think of as being complete as soon as we come to believe in him. But really, this is an invitation to grace, a grace that is constant, always available, and generous in its forgiveness. It is a promise of deep and perpetual care by a God who is completely different from us in his thoughts and ways, and yet never ending in his love and mercy. I am praying during this Holy Eucharist for late Donato Filippo Policelli, intention offered by wife and family. Let us prepare our hearts to receive Jesus. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked person forsake their way and the unrighteous person their thoughts. Let that person return to the Lord that he may have mercy on them and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. The word of the Lord. The Lord is near to all who call on him. The Lord is near to all who call on him. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The Lord is near to all who call on him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his compassion is over all that he has made.
The Lord is near to all who call on him. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call on him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be exalted now, as always in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, living in Christ and dying is gain. For I am to live in the flesh. That means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I prefer. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is more necessary for you. Live your life in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. He, when he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when, when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am, not, uh, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, the introductory for this Gospel we may find in the first reading when Prophet Isaiah is telling us for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Uh, it is not easy to understand this gospel, and uh, we have to take this example and put into specific situation 
because uh, I am a treasurer and I know it's not logical to pay the same wage those who are worked eight hours and those who are worked only one hour. So, of course, this is not logical, but uh, this is something we have to strive to understand day after day because this is something divine. And, uh, of course, we are not able to understand God, but still He is inviting us each day to try because this is something uh, which should be normal and should be uh, very natural uh, to, to know someone I love and to getting know him or her better uh, day after day. So if, if we want to love God and our neighbor, uh, we should try to understand him more, even if this is not possible to understand him fully. Uh, some theologians says that even after death, even when we, were, we will be taken up to heaven and we will see God face to face, uh, we will still learn him. And uh, this expression face to face is taken from Moses who was speaking to, the Lord, to God uh, face to face in a, in a tent. Uh, but we will be seeing God face to face. Uh, we will know him better but still we will not know him 100% because there will be no time in heaven. So we will not count minutes how much more we will be with God, still learning him, still uh, understanding him. So this gospel uh, we can uh, put in a two stage. Uh, one will be connected with confessional because uh, this is something uh, even introductory says that uh, he is full of forgiveness and uh, he's giving us the same forgiveness so if we will be thinking of, about ourselves first of course we know our sins we know our faults uh, and we know we should confess our sins to Jesus at least once a year or maybe sometimes often more often uh, so we go to confessional but it's also uh, difficult not to compare each other to others so if i know uh, that i am going to confessional uh, and maybe i was at confession like two weeks ago uh, and some other people will come and he wasn't at confessional uh, at confession maybe many years, so his sins or her sins will be like multiplied, but we will receive the same at confessional. We will receive all of us will receive the same forgiveness of sins, and this is the first stage we had to compare this gospel into. We will receive equal. And maybe for some will be uh, discouraging that uh, I had only two sins and it wasn't mortal sins, it was just venial sin. But other people will have many sins from their like last confession. So we will receive the same. And we have to be very like understanding in here that we will receive the same. And what is very, perfect here in, in this gospel, very, very encouraging us that uh, God is not stopping f of inviting us to his vineyard, to his life, to his gospel. He is always going into the city, into the, the people place to invite us. Some people, maybe some nations were invited many years ago, many centuries ago. Some nations maybe in, are invited right now. And it, this is perfect because God is always looking for us, searching us to invite us. And even if, if I will like, I am thinking about my children or my parents or my friends or someone I know who is far from God and I am troubled because I, I want this person to be close to God, uh, maybe as I am. But 
something, there is a, some something, obstacle, blockage, that couldn't, this person couldn't resist to, to be far from God. We have time. We should pray, of course. We have to do what is in our power to, to, to do good to this person. But we will sometimes be not able to convince that you should go to, to the church. We have to have hope in God that everyone of us have time to receive invitation from Lord. And he is going again and again to invite us. So this is very encouraging uh, if, if we are troubled because of some person far from God. The, the, the other stage, the second stage, is of course heaven. And we will be hopefully taken after our, our death to heaven to be with God. And uh, some of us are with God right now many years. Some people will be taken maybe at their day like death. And the example of this is in the gospel when uh, Jesus was on the cross and he was dying and there were two people with him. And one of them was instantly taken to heaven. Uh, you probably remember the words Jesus spoke that uh, don't, don't worry, you will be with heaven with me this day. So he, his life, this thief's life, were, weren't perfect, of course. Like he was on the cross because of he, what he did. But his, his uh, like penance and, and uh, his sorrow, his uh, uh, love toward Jesus at that, that moment gave him the pass to, to be taken to heaven with Jesus. And it is not equal, it, it is not maybe uh, just in our sight, in our eyes, but G Jesus' ways and Jesus' thoughts are not our thoughts. So if, if we see that somebody uh, have received grace from God, we should be happy. Because uh, this is something uh, which sometimes makes us angry uh, because we see uh, world is not just and uh, we are fighting for equality right now, but uh, it is not uh, like possible to, to win equality in everything we have. And uh, some people need to have more grace from God than others. But the, the sentence, the words I, I would leave you uh, after this reflection is, are you envious because I am generous? This is sometimes which is difficult. If you are angry or evil because someone people is good, because you see someone people good deed, this might be very dangerous in our spiritual life, in our uh, connection to God, that if I am angry because something good is happening, please rise and res let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, 
and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us turn to God, who is generous in mercy and forgiveness, presenting the needs of the world before him. For all who have sought and found the Lord in his holy church, and for those who are in the process of finding their way, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for political and national leaders, and for all who assist them in exercising their authority, may God open their hearts to his guidance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who are unemployed or over unemployed, and for those who seek to help them, may the Lord provide for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who cannot be physically present with us today in this sacred assembly, may the Lord's peace come upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died. Especially for Donato Filippo Policelli for whom this Mass is offered. May they experience the eternal joy of the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Let us add any additional intentions in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord God of abundance and generosity, we ask that you hear our prayers and grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless her, you, Lord God of all 
so with all the powers of heaven, we worship the constant new earth, while with all the church, as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and the whole order of bishops that in a world turned by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mar Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Joseph, Saint Pio, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me.
Let us pray. Graciously rise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.